Hi guys! So let me help you understand further on how to watch the readings. So remember, this is going to be based on Vedic sidereal astrology, not Western. So if you're watching this from your sun sign, then the resonance of the energy will be happening on a soul level. Now, if you are watching this from your ascendant, then from ascendant, it's happening towards the physical manifestation of the reading. And then, if you are watching this on your moon sign, then this is going to be resonating from your feelings, your mind, and your thoughts. Now, for the people who are looking for that masculine energy, then you would have to look for Jupiter in your chart so that you will know how the energy works. And then, if for the people who are attracted to the feminine energy, then you would have to look for Venus. Now, do remember that Venus also rules the energy of the relationship, so that would be also helpful for you. Now that you guys are all set, thank you very much, and let's begin with your reading. Hi, Taurus. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. We're a little mellow, okay? I just run, okay, a block. <laughs> Just came from the gym, so I'm relaxed, okay? Please allow me to be relaxed, okay? I did have some coffee, okay? A little bit, okay? So I'm just, uh, what do you call it? I'm on a cool down, okay? In a cool down mode. So if you guys want to proceed to, right away to the reading, okay? To the main one, you can just zoom right through it. And here we're going to get first the different elements. Um, and if it's not your reading, yell, it's not your life. It's not your problem. It's other people's problem. Do you want other people's problem? Okay. <laughs> you don't. Okay. So move along. Okay. Mm. And the title of this channel is also Eat, Read, Love. It ain't Burger King. So we can't have it our way. Whatever the card says, the card says. That's how it works. Okay. So here we go. Tune into the late night. Also, it's right here. Or right there. Okay. Uh, late night ASMR. Okay. Two snooze. Got here Capricorn for the Earth sign. We're going to see what's happening with the... Capricorn, a prior disorder, and a placement, Sun, Jupiter, Moon, Venus, and Ascendant. Five of Swords, okay. A lot of people are getting freaky with their communication. So be careful, okay. Fights might happen between you and this Capricorn Taurus, okay. Um, these are little ticks, okay. Like, you will snap. Five of Swords is someone just snap. You don't know what happened because it's petty argument, okay. Is there a petty? The five of swords. It's just like someone just wants to prove that they're right. Okay. Let's just say you're just watching TV and then, you know, it's just like, oh, it's National Geographic. Don't, do you know that the, you know, whales are mammals? Like, hell no, it's not a mammal, it's a freaking fish, you know. And then you go, now you Google and then now it goes to your, you know your mom. It was your mom the whole time. You know, it's like, and then here it comes, it's just like, why you never answered your phone call? It started with a whale. <laughs> That's what happened with the five of swords. One thing after the other, the other, the other. Mm -hmm. And then all now, it's Pandora's box. You guys won't be talking. You guys will break up now, okay? Just because of National Geographic. It's true. I've seen it happen. Petty quarrels. Because it's egoistic. Mm. You got the Justice card with a Libra. Okay. So Libra, let's see what's the issue. The preliminary. Five of ones, everybody, I swear, is getting five. Virgo got five. Okay, so what happened here now? Okay, so fighting for attention. Okay, it's just like you never give me attention. You always out there with your friends, and you know, it's just like when it's about me, you don't even care. Okay, it's like I wasn't home for two years, you never even texted. Okay, so this is the Libra feeling of neediness, and you will find it's just like, what are you talking about? We work together. Okay. It's like, what do you mean you never see me? You know, that's a Libra energy there. Mm -hmm. So, gonna create imbalance. There's an imbalance with the zodiacs. Okay. Not sure what's going on. Let's go. Okay, with the fire sign. Be careful of that also. 
uh, sun card Leo. Oh, this is gonna be spicy. Taurus, let's see. If there's another five, I'm done for today. Okay, I'm done for today. I swear, I'm done for today. Whew, five of cups! <laughs> no, I have to finish the zodiacs. <laughs> I just know that if I call the card though, that I'm guilty. Because I don't need a card. <laughs> 78 cards, guys. All okay. right. Now, those are all different cards. All right, guys. I just, it's like this, you know, it's like, that says, you just don't need the cards. Okay. <laughs> five swords, five ones, bring the five cups. So. <laughs> Leo. Debbie Downer. How dare I jinx? No, I didn't jinx it. It's just like, there's one thing you call when you're, when you're a freaking magician. As above, so below, you know. When you reach a certain frequency, Taurus. Oh, you just, you know, everything just happens. Mm -hmm. That's my mellow. Okay, Leo, five of cups. You guys are everyone. Like, oh my god, so she's such a magician. I can't. Yeah, don't date me. That's what I say. Kidding. <laughs> Could care less. <laughs> okay. So Leo's upset. Okay. Um, oops, I did it again. I don't know what the Leo did. Okay. They're in remorse right now. Longing for the good times, and good times, and bad times. Why do you always create bad times? Okay, that's the problem. Why are we dramatic? We ain't a soap opera, Leo. Okay, right? That's that one. They rule the theater. <laughs> oh, I'm sick. Oh my god, what's wrong with me? Nothing. You came from an AC. It's hot outside. You ain't sick. Drama, drama, drama. And you're an earth sign. So sorry. Okay. The tiniest little thing will be such a shebang. It's like a Broadway show with that energy. Mm -hmm. Now let's see the Pisces. Oh, there's another drama also. Okay. Bring in the Oscars for the Zodiacs that you're dealing with right now. Okay. Bring in the Oscars. The only thing you don't have right now, which I don't want to call. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing is what air, fire, water, what else? Earth, five of pentacles, basically. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh! <laughs> Not good though. Five seven of swords. Mm. Sneaking away. Can't be trusted. What are they hiding? I don't know. Those will all get extended reading. Okay. So we'll clarify everything. Those are the situationship that you have. Now, let's go with your main read. Okay. I was so nervous to get a five to make this. Mm. Tell me what you want. I'll read it for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go. Nine of Pentacles. Virgo got this. Are you confident? Think about it. Are you financially secure? Are you healthy? Are you doing well? Is your job, you know, it's just, it's just amazing, enjoying life? Those are the checklists to know that you are the Nine of Pentacles. If that's you, I approve. Okay? So you're single, you know, it's like I'm just making my way downtown, you know. If I could fall. Dun, dun, dun. That's just that. This is that one. This is like when you wake up really, really good and you are just independent. If you are dependent on someone emotionally and whatever, you're not the Nine of Pentacles, okay? Get Nine of Pentacles with a sun card. I told you when you wake up, right? Mm. The sun is beaming. Someone is making you happy. Someone is making you feel secure also. This is healing. You could have met a new person. You know, with a sun card. This is a sun in Virgo, because the sun is Leo rising also. If you're single, like, you could be also a Taurus who doesn't want to have a partner, and you just want to have a baby. I see it here. It's just like, I just want to have a baby. Yeah, it's just like, I don't need a partner. Okay. Because <laughs> you're looking for baby here. Ace of Wands, you might just get a baby. <laughs> The most phallic card. Yeah, Sal, I just need a donor and I'm good. I'd rather have a baby, nurture the baby, and they grow up, you know, and nurture life. Ace of Wands, the most phallic card. So someone is really just 
needing some action over here. It might be just a Thursday, if it's a Thursday. Mm -hmm. The sun with the ace of wands. You've been dry spell, yeah? So, you know, especially, you know, Saturn aspecting lots, you know, sitting on your eighth. It will be dry, okay? Especially, it's also for the bros. It's in the eighth house, okay? can only imagine if you have K2 in the first house, and then now Saturn is transiting eighth house. That's a dry lover. It's like a Sahara person. Knight of Wands. Oh, here comes. Let me make you. <laughs> Let me make you. <laughs> you know what's the business of the Knight of Wands. The fun card. Mm -hmm. Sag energy. The one night stand. I just need some action. So, And I feel good already. Someone here just wants to have fun with the Knight of Wands. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not resonating. It's not your life. The lovers. Ooh, someone here. This is a story here. <clears throat> One night stand, fell in love, makes, me, makes you happy now. Now you just want to start all over again with this person. Pretty good. Younger person. Lovers is Gemini. You feel like you belong to each other. It's love making here. Lovers with a sun card. Mm -hmm. You want to make love to someone right now. How long has it been? A year and a half. Ever since Saturn entered January 2018. You probably only had one action. And the same person. Because you can't get it to anyone else. Because it's a soulful connection. Now you know why there's a dry spell. You can try. <laughs> but there's fate right now here, Wheel of Fortune. You keep winding up with the same person. The person far from you, long distance. The one that you feel like you, that's a winner. Mm -hmm. It's right here. You're connecting with someone, with someone good. But I feel like it started out casual. Or it just started out this thing, you know, it's like, it was just, we were just talking. And things are developing with the Wheel of Fortune and the lovers. Someone fell in love. Mm-hmm. Can be you or them. All are positive cards here. Those? I don't know. Okay. Here is good. Mm. So I'm going to continue this reading. As, you know, faith brought you. Okay. Normally you meet this person on the travel. Especially Knight of Wands is a Sag. That's a travel card. Um... Wheel of Fortune is also travel. Distance is the lover's card for me. Separation. But the volcano, that's phallic. I mean, that's the intimacy connection. This is also intimacy connection. And this is also baby connection. Okay. So what is this? A walk a walk in for baby making? I don't know. Okay. Because that's what your energy is about. Let's make babies. <laughs> so, link down there for everything you need. Okay. Um, for personal services, right there. Um, Instagram account is right here. I read more of those zodiacs. So thank you very much, guys, for tuning in. I'll see you guys again, and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, buon noche, brividate, ciao. I'll see you. Bye. You got three kings over here, so chances are this is gonna happen in January. Don't ask me why. <laughs> so three kings, three magi's. Okay. And that's I feel that's what you call the wheel of fortune. It's already in the works. All those are already manifesting. Okay, because <clears throat> that's right there. They want to be with you though, but no time right now. The Sun card with the Five of Cups, Leo with their theater, 